Hey, what is up you guys? It's Sukari here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And this week's video is gonna be a vlog. I never really vlog, but I recently got a vlogging camera and I'm trying to vlog more. So I'm super excited to be vlogging today. This is gonna be a pretty exciting week for me because last week I got my bachelor's degree, okay? I got my bachelor's degree in fine arts and accessories design. And this week I'm gonna be celebrating that. So this week is gonna begin with me doing my graduation shoot, which I can't wait because a girl. I love a good photo shoot, okay? I love a photo. It's literally a photo of myself right in front of me that I'm going to show you all. I love a good photo shoot, okay? And then this week, I'm also going to be going away. And I cannot wait because I haven't went away since last January when I went to Dubai. So I'm super, super excited to be going away. I love traveling and I can't wait. And honestly, this was like a like last minute kind of trip. I knew I would always be going away to celebrate my graduation, but I just didn't know where I wanted to go. And because of everything that's going on, not all of the countries are open and my trip was a lot of money. OK, it was it was that enough. And I was like, I'm not spending all this money to go somewhere that I really don't want to go. So last minute, my sister and I ended up booking this trip to this place. I'm not going to tell you guys the name of the place yet. I'm going to be one of those like annoying YouTubers who like wait till the last minute to tell you all and then split it up and be like in the next week's vlog. I am because I just I just feel like I have to build a suspense just a little bit. So I'm not going to tell you guys where it is yet, but just know it's somewhere I always wanted to go. My sister and I always wanted to go there and we're super excited. So with all of that being said, I have a lot to do before then. It's currently Sunday. My graduation shoot is on Tuesday and I fly out Wednesday morning. So I probably have to leave my house at like Tuesday. Wednesday at 3 a.m. but to me that's kind of like Tuesday night so I have a bunch of stuff to do um I have to clean my room because I hate coming back to a dirty room after a trip not the good vibes I need to shake my head because my hair is just it's too long for me I don't like this um I need to get my nails done I need to get a wax I need to find some better shoes to go in my graduation dress because I got these shoes I love the color but they're giving kitten heel and honestly, y'all, I'm a size 10 and I just feel like when you are size 10 and your heel is not like super high, I feel like it just makes my foot look super long and kind of stupid. They're cute shoes, but I just, they're not giving what they're supposed to give. I tried them on yesterday in the store with some jeans and they were super cute. But when I tried them on with the dress, although the color does match, they're just giving, they're giving kitten heel. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those. Um, but yeah, I have a bunch of stuff. Oh, and I also have to edit um a video i filmed a haul earlier this week so i would like to edit that and post that this week because i haven't posted on youtube in a super long time as you guys know and i'm trying to be more consistent but i'm not just going i'm not going to talk about it i'm just going to do it so i need to have a lot of stuff to do today i'm going to bring you all along for the journey so let's go ahead and get into this vlog all right y'all so here is my graduation dress it is this super cute cream dress by house of cb i love house of cb so anytime i get the opportunity to buy something from house of b house of cb for an event i'm gonna buy something from house of cb so i got this cream off the shoulder dress it's, it's really cute and it snatches away so cute so i was gonna pair it with these shoes from sam elderman and i feel like the color goes perfectly i also picked these up in white but i knew it would match and the people in the store were trying to convince me that it would match because they're like well your hair is kind of like white and then the shoes are white and then this will be cream it'll be like a few different colors of white it'll be cool and i was like well that kind of does make sense but in my heart I knew that you look stupid when you start mixing different shades of white and I hate that. So I ended up getting both shoes and I have to return the white ones. But um, I got these that I'm planning to wear but I just feel like the heel is giving, this is something I would have worn in middle school. It's not giving college graduate, it's giving, you know, Sunday school. I don't know, it's just not giving what it's supposed to give. I love the shoe but I just wish the heel was way taller. But I found a Vince Camuto dupe for these at DSW but y'all know DSW. You never know if they're going to have your size. So I'm going to stop by DSW tomorrow, hopefully, but I'm not trying to do a lot of running around. So my plan is to stop by DSW tomorrow and see if I can find a gold shoe that's like way taller, but not like a metallic gold, because I'm also not trying to get shoes that look like they're for prom. Like I have shoes like that and it's like it sucks because I'm like never going to prom again. I don't need this glittery ass shoe. I'm trying to find a shoe that I can wear outside of this because I'm literally only taking photos. So I'm trying to find a gold that's like a little bit more 
soft and like a nice gold not like a shiny cheap gold so hopefully i'm able to find those shoes i saw online at dsw in the store but y'all know what dsw it'd be like five boxes there if it's not your size there it's not your size so we're gonna see how that goes um i'm about to start my laundry and edit this video because i need to hurry up because it takes me forever to edit so i'm gonna go ahead and start my day y'all Hey y'all, I just put my clothes in a laundry and I'm about to go ahead and shave my head. I really don't like when my hair is this long. Like I feel like it's giving like cute, but I'm trying to give like sexy, okay? So I'm about to go ahead and shave my head and get real, real low so I can give the folks a little sexy. Cause this is cute, but I'm trying to give sexy. So I'm about to go ahead and shave my head. My head has been shaved for about five years now. And I have only been to the barbershop for like three, maybe three times. Honestly, I don't like going to the barbershop. It's just way too many men. Like, can we get like a female only barbershop? Like, it's just way too many men. I'd be, I don't know. I just, it's too much for me. Like, I'd be like nervous, anxious. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like the vibe. I feel like everybody's in my face looking at me. It's just, it's just too much. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't want to be there. So I don't go. Um, so I learned how to shave my own head. I know how to do it, but honestly, I'm not the best at it. Every time I shave my head, I literally get like a patch in the back. And usually I just don't care because it's like in the back. And if I can't see it, honestly, I usually don't care. Even though that's so bummy of me, it's the total truth. And usually I don't go outside that often. So by the time that I go outside, the patch has usually grown back in. So I don't really care. But I'm shaving my head literally like two or three days before I go away at this point so I won't have enough time to grow my hair back if I do get a patch so fingers crossed you know I can actually shave it correctly hopefully all those five years of me shaving it myself actually come through today and I can do a nice job um but we'll see fingers crossed I'm about to go ahead and shave my head y'all all right y'all so I actually have no guards I thought I had like a guard that was slightly long that I thought I might be able to pull off but I don't so I'm just gonna be using the clippers <laughs> i'm gonna pull this thing back though when you pull this back the blade goes a little lower so i'm gonna do that but first i'm gonna comb out my hair all right y'all so i just finished shaving my head and here is how it looks you know not too shabby and the back looks good too okay the back i did the back all right but you know the real test is gonna be when i go see my family because they're gonna be like you missed the spot you missed the spot but i actually think today i did fairly well all right yeah let me know i think i did pretty good okay i'm happy about it um i wish it was a little bit longer but that's kind of what i get for waiting so long like waiting so long to shave it i'm not gonna really have a lot of time to let it grow in but i think once i bleach it it'll look better because like this is dark over here because i have black hair growing in but once it's all bleached yeah once it's all bleached i think it's gonna be super cute mm -mm -mm. but y'all she's back okay i love when my hair is low it's just a vibe i shaved my head i started feeling all this wind all this air i missed it so much y'all y'all don't even know so now I'm about to go ahead and start editing my video. Hopefully I can get it all finished by today. Fingers crossed. Hey y'all, I just want to come over here and check in real quick. I have been editing for the last past three hours and I still have some more editing to do. I'll probably be editing all night to be honest. So it's going to be a long night. It takes me super long to edit. And I also haven't edited or posted a video in a while. So I might be a little bit rusty. And I had to like refilm some clips because the camera y'all. The camera was stressing me out. I filmed that latest video on my Sony ZV-1. This is a brand new camera that I'm filming on and I'm super excited about it. Prior to that, I used to film videos on my Canon 70D. Um, I like that camera. It's just that I honestly do not know how to work DSLRs properly. Like I need a camera that's like, I need a point and shoot camera, which is this. Like I just want to be able to point and shoot. Like I don't want to learn about the aperture, the exposure, the, the shutter speed, all this stuff that you have to do to get the look that I want. It was just, it was just way too much and too overwhelming. Also, I wanted to start vlogging and I'm already shy naturally. So I don't really feel comfortable walking outside with my huge DSLR camera. Hey guys, I'm here. Like, I just feel like I just look stupid. Whereas with something like this, which is way more smaller and compact, and I was <laughs> made sure to keep like everything black so it could be like nice and incognito um i feel a little bit more comfortable vlogging with opposed to a dslr camera because there's been a lot of days where i wanted to vlog 
but I just didn't want to bring my camera out because it didn't fit in my purse once I was gonna have to wear it on my shoulder or around my neck which is just annoying where you're trying to go out and enjoy your day and have fun and then also I was like I felt a little shy to bring the big camera so even sometimes I would bring it not even film so I'm hoping well it's gonna happen y'all because I spent my money I'm definitely gonna be vlogging more now that I have a small little compact camera that can fit in my purse oh it's so cute and I also got this Ulanzi tripod to go with it that I'll have linked down below y'all this tripod is so 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 perfect and it also like extends so it can go further but it also shrinks so it fits in your purse it's real real cute i'm gonna leave it down below so y'all can check it out but it's real cute anywho when i get a chance i'm gonna do a whole review on this camera and the reason why i decided to get this one instead of the canon g7x mark ii because i know that's another popular vlogging camera that's the one that literally all the youtubers use and that is the one i wanted just because i know that all the youtubers use that one and i'm like well if people with a million subscribers is using a canon g7x mark ii then i need the canon g7x mark ii especially since i don't know a lot about cameras but i did some research and i kind of feel like this was the better option and now that i'm editing that video that i just made I'm feeling a little bit more confident in my choice because yesterday, child, or the day I filmed that video, I was ready to pack her on up and send her back because the screen was going dark. She was dying every minute. I couldn't take it, but I'm still learning how to work with her. Um, but she's back in my good graces. You know, we ain't friends all the way, but we cool. We cool. All right, y'all. So that was my little spiel. Um, hopefully it wasn't all over the place, but I'm new to vlogging. So y'all, it is what it is right now. So I'm gonna just continue to sit in my famous chair, okay? and edit my video I actually did try to go outside today and edit because I just find that I focus more while I'm outside it's less distractions ironically um not that I'm really distracted in here I don't know something just more peaceful about outside even though I live in a city but um it's hot okay it's hot as the devil's draws out there it is 90 degrees today um, which is ironic because tomorrow it's going to be 68 degrees. So the weather is all over the place. But y'all today, even the wind was hot. It felt like I was just in the desert. It, it was hotter than Dubai, child. It, it was hot. Okay, so with that being said, I had to come back in the house and just sit back on my chair. I think I have about a few more hours to edit. So I'm going to try to go ahead and wrap that up because I really would like to pack today. I'm still washing my clothes. I'm trying to wash all of my clothes so I can like lay everything out and pick and plan my outfits. Although I kind of already know what I'm going to wear in my head. I just want to lay everything out and have all my options. So I'm going to continue to wash my clothes and edit this video. And I'll check back in with you all later. Hey y'all, good morning. I'm up super early this morning because I have a lot of errands to run today. The last time you saw me was yesterday when I was editing. And I edited my video yesterday, but it took me all day. So I wasn't able to pack my luggage or do any of the other things that I had to do. So I need to get started on that now. My sister came and woke me up super early. She doesn't know it's literally going to be war because she keeps doing that. Um, but we're about to go ahead and head to the nail salon so we can get our nails done. And then I'm going to go ahead and run all the other errands I have to run. I'm looking crazy today. I have on this wrinkled band shirt. This super cute purse I made. Follow my brand Sukari Light Emo on Instagram. Website coming soon. <laughs> made by hand by me. Um, and I have on some blue jeans from Zara that I really don't like um but she's waiting on me which is kind of good for her ass because i'm always waiting on her because she always late but i'm gonna go ahead and um leave this house and get my day started y'all so i'll see y'all later This is cute. I needed a, a little purse to carry my things, like my camera and stuff. I got one from Zara, but it broke, and then I brought the same one over again, but I'm not sure if it's going to break again. This is cute, but I'm not paying $34 for it. Oh, this is cute. This is actually cute. Alright, I'm looking for a gold shoe, but I don't want it to give prom. This is too much. Um, 
like these are a no. Like if I get something like this, like where else am I gonna wear that? I've been wanting some Crocs, but they don't have the color I want. And also, these are like the same price they are on the Croc website, $50. I think they would be cheaper here. So this, I could literally just get them from the Crocs website because I do get a student discount. I think it's like 25% off. Mm -mm. I'm just going to hold out because I want it like a tie-dye pair, but I want the tie-dye pair without the white on the side. But these are cute and they're only $5. I'm like, do I need this to go on my little egg here? No, no, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I almost forgot 4th of July is coming. So this is what I have to get. I'm already getting distracted trying to buy pillows and other stupid things from this store. Um, I'm looking for a white tank top for my sister because she asked me to pick her up one. I'm not sure if this is little girls or this is just a book. I don't know if she would want this. It's, I don't like that. Um, I'm not even sure. Of, like, I don't even know the layout of this store. Okay. It looks like toothbrushes and stuff will be over here. So this is a damage so far. I just got toothbrushes some razors, hand sanitizer, and then I got some nail polish down there. This is probably gonna be like $50 worth of stuff. Stuff in the store just adds up so damn quick. But I think I'm gonna get one of these. Hey y'all, so I am back from one of my errands. I actually got back a few hours ago. I ate some food and I took a nap because y'all, I was tired. I'm not used to getting up that early. But I'm back from Target and I'm gonna formally show you all what I picked up um, while I was out. So, the thing I am most excited about I got this bathtub tray. I'm super excited about this. So your phone goes here and then you can put um, a cup here and you can put a glass of wine here. You just slip it in this hole. I'm super excited about this. I'm about to go take a bath and shave and do a mask and get my life together and get cute. Um, so I can be cute for tomorrow and I'm definitely gonna be using the bathtub tray because I can't wait. Um, I picked up some razors. Um, I just got the Target brand. Um, I like these. I got some toothbrushes. Um, this is pretty boring because I only got stuff like, I didn't get exciting things. I got some hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh, this is kind of exciting. I got some nail polish. I got this cream color, which I think I'm going to use on my toes. And I got this white. And I also got a clear. But I think I'm going to use the cream because this is the color of my nails. It's like this creamish pink. And I feel like this will tie in nicely with my, um, if I paint my toes this color. So I might paint my toes this color, but I always do white. So we'll see how that goes. But lately, honestly... I have been getting sick of like white nail polish. Like I usually love it because it just looks so clean, but it's kind of getting old. Um, <laughs> I went, what else I got from Target? I got some deodorant. Y'all, I haven't brought deodorant in so long. I was telling my sister, like literally the last time I bought deodorant had to be like November, September. So almost like a year because I really don't be using deodorant like that. Like, and I don't be stinking either. I've been using this honey pot panty spray. Um, you can use it on in your panties, um, on your feet, anywhere where you feel like it's a little stinky, you just spray the spray. And honestly, y'all, it works really well. And since I don't go outside much, I don't feel the need to use like, a like, like a super strong deodorant I'm not that excited about using deodorant i don't really think it's a healthy option but since i'm going somewhere hot and since summertime is coming and it's going to be hot where i live i need to use some deodorant like it's cool to use like the honey pot spray while i'm in the house or maybe just going to like a store in my neighborhood and not really being that active but if i'm going to be outside in the sun sweating being active I'm going to need some real grown-up deodorant because I'm a real grown-up. But I am going to invest in a natural deodorant soon because I just don't like using 
I don't like using deodorant, but when I have to use a toxic deodorant, this is one of my favorites. This is the Secret Outlast, and I usually like to get unscented um, deodorants because I just hate... I feel like they make deodorants like cherry blossom and lavender rose. Like, it'd be all like this fruity stuff and I don't really like that like I feel like it clashes with my perfume when I wear them I don't really wear perfume often but if I am I just find like it clashes and I just don't like the smell of all those fruity deodorants I'd rather just have a unscented soap and deodorant and add um perfume or oils that I wish so I got the secret outlast and unscented last time I used this I really did like it and I also went to the beauty supply store and I picked up some 40 volume developer. I'm going to bleach my hair today because I do have my graduation photo shoot tomorrow. Um, and I have to get my makeup done at like 11 o'clock. So it's going to be a pretty early day tomorrow. So I'm going to bleach my hair tonight. And I needed some developer. I used the 40 volume developer by L'Oreal. And I also used the L'Oreal Quick Blue um, to bleach my hair. You don't have to keep the brands the same. But I just try to keep the brands the same. I also picked up... Um, the Smelly's um, Hydrating Conditioner. When I buy conditioner, I usually only buy samples because the samples last me so long because I literally don't have a lot of hair. So I actually still have a sample of like a pomegranate one I've been using and I love it so much. It smells so, so, so good. Now I said I really don't like smells when it comes to like deodorants. That's why I got my deodorant and unscented. But y'all, when it comes to like hair stuff, oh, I just love smells. So this one, I'm not sure what the smell is on this one. It just says hydrating conditioner. Um, yeah, hydrating conditioner. I'm not sure what it's going to smell like. But my other one is like a pomegranate cherry. I didn't even know people were making pomegranate uh, smelling stuff, y'all. But it smells amazing. And I really do like their products. So I got another sample of that. And it's so crazy to me that the beauty supply stores have the nerve to sell this for like $2. When I know they come with the full size packages when they send them to the store. You know, like when they buy an order of like the full, like say they buy an order of like 144 conditioners from the brand. I know the brand will put these in there to give to people to try out. But the ghetto beauty supply stores want to sell them, child, so whatever I had to buy it but I did need a little one so that's why I got that I also picked up another sim card oh my god a sim card child I'm all over the place what is this called again I'm still waking up y'all I picked up another memory card um I ended up getting it from Best Buy an additional 128 gig I believe this was $31 on sale but I swear the last few times I've been going to Best Buy the same memory card has been $31 on sale so the price of it is just $31 so <laughs> but I got a 128 gigabyte memory card um and I picked up some Polaroid film y'all it was so hard to get this Polaroid film and the Target I went to they had it all locked up I was like really for some Polaroid film for Polaroid film the clothes y'all got downstairs is more expensive than a Polaroid film. The flower pot that I was looking at is more expensive than a Polaroid film. Like, this is only, like, $16. I don't know why they're so annoying. But I picked up this Polaroid film because I'm going to bring my Polaroid camera as well. I have to remember to pack it. Um, yeah. And speaking of packing, I need to do that today. <laughs> so my plan for the rest of the day is to go wash up take care of these bumps because I literally woke up with two pimples on my face I said how did you get here nobody is supposed to be here so my goal is to go take care of these two bumps on my face exfoliate get cute get fresh it's so clean clean you know just just take care of my body take care of myself and go relax for a minute and then I'm gonna bleach my hair I'm gonna try to take some photos in here for Instagram because I will not be posting the trip while I'm in the trip obviously I'm not gonna edit the vlog while I'm on the trip um, so I want to have some Instagram content because I probably won't get the video up to the week after the trip. So I want to take some like regular Instagram photos in my room like I normally do, although I haven't done it in a while. Um, I usually like to take photos in here when the sun is up. Um, but uh, I think it's about 530. So I missed that. I missed that. Yeah, it's about 530 now. So I probably won't have an opportunity to do that while the sun is up because I just find that it's way more warm in here while the sun is up and the pictures just come out beautiful. Sometimes the sun be coming in through my window and I catch a little glimpse of the sun. It just looks really nice and warm in here um, when the sun is up. But unfortunately, I didn't have the opportunity to, or I just didn't wake up early enough to do all my errands and come back while the sun was up in tissue content. So I'm probably gonna do that later on tonight and pack. If I don't get to shoot content, 
I'll live. I'll probably just do it tomorrow because I'm going to have my makeup done. But then again, I feel like I'm trying to shoot like regular content. Like I'm just going to wear like this knit dress that I got. And like, sh I feel like my room is like really bohemian and like chill. And I feel like having a full face of makeup on, taking the photos in my room may look a little odd. So that's why I'm trying to do it tonight. But we'll see. I know I definitely need to pack today. Like that is a priority because I really need to see what I'm missing. And um, if I'm missing anything, I need to pick it up tomorrow after my photo shoot. So that is pretty much it, y'all. I'm about to go ahead and use my new bathtub tray. All right, y'all. So I am fresh out the shower. Well, I actually took a bath and I used my new bath tray. It was lit. I was watching that. So raving in the tub, living my best life. But anywho, I'm about to go ahead and apply my face mask. This is the Aztec clay mask. Y'all, it's the best mask ever and it's super affordable. I believe the container is only about $9. And the last one I had lasted me literally like... A year and a half two years y'all so it's a super great investment it's good for like pulling the impurities out of your face and honestly it just makes your face feel so smooth and since i'm gonna get my makeup done tomorrow of course i want my face to be smooth i did realize that i have some bumps one two three four like uh 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 i don't know child they lost um but <laughs> i realized i did have some bumps which i didn't notice that were there yesterday so i don't know if i got them overnight or what's going on oh <sighs> i'm a little annoyed but it is what it is it's natural i think my cycle is coming that's why i'm breaking out and i'm praying that it doesn't come while i'm on this trip because that would really really suck because i have a feeling the place we're going is going to be super hot and humid and I don't want to be on my cycle and be in that sort of weather because I don't know if I'll be able to take it. But we're just going to keep our fingers crossed. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and apply my face mask, okay? So I can get super cute and my skin could be super smooth for my photo shoot tomorrow. I was just talking to my photographer and confirming a few things. He's super nice. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put him on a vlog tomorrow. I'll ask him. I'll see how the vibe is. But he's super nice. He's one of my dad friends and he also shot my prom photos okay oh my god i was so fat in my prom photos every time i look at them i'm like oh my god so hopefully i don't look back at these photos and be like oh my god i look terrible but i mean i was cute in those photos he did an amazing job but i just didn't realize how big i was until i looked back and was like oh my god i was that big anywho i'm not trying to fat shame on the page I'm not trying to fat shame on here i'm just simply making um an observation so he takes amazing photography um him and his friend usually work together and their work is fantastic so i know the photos are gonna come out beautiful i did go to dsw today and try to see if i could find some gold heels by the way i couldn't find any they literally they had stuff in there but they just didn't have things that they didn't have what i was looking for so i wasn't able to find them so i'm still gonna be wearing the cream dress and the gold kitten heel <laughs> um i also have a clear pair of heels that i may wear but honestly they're a little dirty and a little cloudy I don't know I guess I just got dusty because the last time I wore them was literally my birthday so I might just clean them off and wear those but I can't walk in those they're super cheap I think they were from misguided and I look like uh what are those things you know those little eggs that wibble wiggles wobble but they don't fall down whatever those things is called that's how I look in them damn heels because I could barely walk in them um so I don't know fashion or practicality I don't know maybe I'll wear both shoes switch it on up I don't know We'll see y'all. I'm about to go ahead and apply my mask. Hey. So I just washed off my face mask. I feel like my skin is looking really nice. And then I went ahead and I put on my Urban Skin RX serum. I'll go ahead and link it down below. I forgot the name. Oh, I think it's the Vitamin C Serum. I forgot the name of it, y'all, but I'll link it down below. I'm about to go ahead and bleach my hair. Y'all, my hair was so uneven, hence the Lindsay shirt. We're not even going to talk about it. I thought I did such a good job, and then I went and I asked my mother, and I was like, look, did I do it good? And she was like, girl, it's patchy, it's uneven in the back, and I was stressed. So I tried to go back and even it out. At this point, it is what it is. I'm about to just all bleach it brown, I mean blonde, and go with it, you know? We're only going to take the photos from the front, so if the back look crazy, no one's going to know. But I would really prefer to have just a nice, even haircut. I'm seriously going to have to consider finding a barber because, like, 
I can't go out like this no more. It's getting a little bit ridiculous, y'all. Hey y'all, so I am finally packing. I'm super excited. Here is all the stuff that I'm gonna bring or at least thinking about bringing. Um, here are some dresses, some pants, some skirts, a whole bunch of stuff, y'all. Um, over here is the outfit I'm going to be wearing to the airport. I got this super cute set from Target that you guys will see me wear. And then I just have like my toiletries, a purse, and like, I don't even know what that is. Oh, like things I'm going to sleep in over there. So I need to figure out how to get all of these outfits. I don't think I'm going to be bringing all of these. I just want to like try these on like I have multiple bottom options I'm gonna see like what shirt looks best with which bottom and I'm also gonna be bringing a pants option just because I'm really unsure about the weather I kind of just feel like the weather has been up in the air even here like it was literally 90 degrees yesterday and today it's 68 degrees or today it was 68 degrees so like I don't know if when I go away if the nights is gonna be super chilly so I'm gonna bring pants options or at least one or two because I'm only going for three days but anywho I need to figure out a way to put all of this in here. I don't know when carry-ons got this small, y'all, but this is kind of ridiculous. I'm allowed to pack up to 50 pounds of stuff. So um, hopefully I do not go over because I really hate checking my luggage. Like, I just hate checking my luggage. So hopefully I'm able to put everything in here. <sighs> I might be pushing it. I also have to put some shoes I'll be bringing these white um, New Republic sneakers that I'm trying out. I usually just buy Stan Smith's for summer, but I got these just because the tongue doesn't come up as high and I kind of like that and I just wanted to try something new. So I got these and then I'm also going to be bringing some Converse. I'm a simple girl when it comes to the sneakers. I be liking non-simple stuff, but it just be so expensive and I'll be like, girl, I don't got time for that. So I also got these cream um, Converse that I'm going to be bringing, but I don't know if I need to bring two pair of sneakers that are so similar um yeah and i'm only going for three days so i don't really know if i need this many pair of shoes so i really need to try on everything and see what looks best with what and narrow it down so that is what i'm about to do y'all all right y'all so here is one option my room is a mess so don't be alarmed but here is one option i definitely want to wear this shirt while i'm away so i'm thinking about pairing it with this white skirt i don't really like the way it looks with the converse so mm, yeah yeah, we're going to 86 to Converse. Um, I think I might do them with these white sneakers. And I'm also going to bring, I'm definitely going to bring this brown pair of sandals I have. Just because I hate when my feet are hot. And those are just like a nice pair of sandals that go with everything. So I'm going to throw those in there. I might switch out the sneakers for a brown pair of sandals. But here is the first little outfit. And I'm also going to carry this purse with every outfit. I literally do not buy purses from other people anymore since I make purses. Follow my brand Sukari Light Emo on Instagram if you want to live in luxury, honey, okay? So I usually don't buy other people's purses because I make handbags now. But I needed something cheap and I needed something quick. And I needed something that was like summer-ish. I don't really have a lot of stuff that's like summer-ish already made. Most of my stuff is every fall, winter. Because um, you know that's when I thrive. That's not keys on my fur and stuff like that. So, yeah, I picked up a cute little quick little summer bag from Zara. Um, I bought this bag once before and it actually broke on me. And I was like, this is why I don't buy bags. This is why I make all my bags. But then I saw it at another Zara and I was like, child, let me just buy this purse again. Because I literally did not have any bags to match for this whole entire trip. And I also like this bag because it is cross body. And I'm trying to be hands free, okay? Typically, I am the bag lady. I always have a bunch of bags. And I'm just trying not to have that burden in my life no more. So, I got this purse. But anywho, this is an option. The Converse got to go. Buy Converse. Okay. All right, y'all. Here is another option. This is one of my faves. If you watched my haul, you would have saw this piece. It's from Zara. It's this really cute knit dress. And I'm probably going to pair this with the Converse just because it's cream. And I feel like it looks cute with the cream sneakers. With the white, it kind of just... I mean, it looks cool with the white. I could probably save some pounds without packing two sneakers. But it looks so much better with the cream. So, I'm going to just pack both. Okay? So, I really like this outfit, y'all. All right, y'all, so here is another outfit. The shirt is not zipped up in the back. I'm just trying it on to see how it looks real quick, so I'm not even going to bother with the zipper. 
Um, but this is how it looks. It's like a corset, like peasant top. Super, super cute. I feel like this really goes with the theme of where I'm going. Um, really cute. So I got these denim shorts to go with it. And then I think I'm going to pair them with the white sneakers. Not feeling it with the converts. But I mean, really, they're really similar. And either or can go. But since I have both, I'm going to go ahead and go with the white. Um, but this is the look. I think she's super cute. All right, y'all. I am officially kind of packed. I literally stuffed all that I could in here. I think I have about seven outfits and I'm only going to be there for three days. I know that's a lot, but I wanted to bring options to change into at night. Ugh. I still have to put it. Oh, wait, I actually did put my pair of shoes in here, so I don't have to worry about that. I have two pairs of shoes in here, my jewelry right here, um, and a whole bunch of clothes. I went ahead and I put my cosmetic bag and like this thing that's going to be my purse which is flipping huge by the way so hopefully they let me get away with it and inside of here i have some wipes because i'm wiping everything down honey i'm pulling naomi campbell i got um my tribe pizzle and i also got this cute little purse and i also need to put my camera stuff in there and that'll be pretty much it for this if this is too heavy i'm probably just gonna put some of the stuff in here but i'm gonna zip her on up put her on my scale I only really have like a scale that's like for humans so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do I guess I can just lay it down huh but I, I don't know I don't feel like that's gonna weigh it properly but I don't know better than nothing I'm gonna go ahead and zip it up and weigh it and think about this tomorrow if it's way too heavy I'll just have to go back to the drawing board and take some stuff out tomorrow but for now your girl is done she's all packed up and she is done, okay? All right, y'all. So I went ahead and I pulled out my scale so I can see how much my luggage weighs. Let's go ahead and see. All right, 23.4 pounds. That's not too bad. I'm not sure if this is the most accurate way to do it, seeing how the luggage is kind of hanging off the scale. But I tried my best to get it on there. I really hope that this is actually going to be 23 pounds when I get to the airport. Because, child, if it's over 50, I'm doomed. Y'all, so I'm in the process of packing up my stuff, which is super exciting, but y'all would never guess what just happened to me. I'm so like frustrated and disappointed and irritated and annoyed and confused. I don't know what to do. So um, I'm filming on my Sony ZV-1 now, which is my new camera, and the battery on this camera sucks, okay? And it only comes with one battery, and Sony doesn't even sell... Um, like the charger that you can plug the battery into the wall and charge it. The only way you can charge the battery is by putting it in the camera and, and plugging the camera into the wall. So I watched a few YouTube videos and in order to avoid that, I purchased these batteries right here that were recommended to me by some other YouTubers who have the camera. Like I saw about maybe like two or three other YouTubers um, suggest this. I think it was like $20. It comes with the base that you can charge into the wall with the wire and it also comes with three batteries this silver one right here um is the sony battery and then these are the other batteries but i've been using this charger to charge the sony battery as well which is probably not the best thing to do because i know typically you're supposed to use the battery that the brand of the camera sells but y'all those batteries are about forty dollars forty dollars and this camera was already expensive so i was like oh She's going to go ahead and get the nice affordable ones from Amazon, right? So I've been filming with this camera since, um, what's today, Monday? I've been filming with this camera since about last Thursday. I filmed a sit-down video. I filmed for hours using these batteries. Um, they did die pretty quickly, but since I had three, I just kept them charging. I just kept replacing them. Um, I vlogged a little bit on my camera, but my battery died and I had to switch over to my phone. But even when I was vlogging, since you vlog in like short little clips, I didn't find that the battery was dying too fast, so I didn't really mind. So I'm packing and I went to charge my batteries so I can have batteries so I can film for y'all tomorrow when I go do my graduation photo shoot, y'all. And the batteries will not charge. There's something wrong with this base. Be At first I thought it was something wrong with my outlets but I tried a whole bunch of different outlets I tried plugging other stuff in the outlets y'all and it worked so I was like okay it's not my outlets which is kind of a relief because I mean that's a big problem but anywho um I plugged this in the wall it didn't work and now I have nothing to charge the batteries with except for the camera because you can only charge the battery in the camera and since I brought this camera to vlog I'm not going to be in a situation where I can just plug the camera in and record it while I'm out like um plug the camera in and charge it while I'm out enjoying my day you know um
So at this point, I'm a little bit annoyed because um, I purchased these batteries. To um, so at this point, I'm very annoyed because I purchased these batteries to specifically get around that problem. And I still have the same problem. Like I literally only have this battery in my camera right now. It started at four bars and now it's at three. I don't even know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to vlog tomorrow. I don't want to bring my big um, DSLR because... Um, I think I'm going to get, have my mom drive me tomorrow to my photo shoot or I might take an Uber, but I'm probably going to take the train back. So I have to bring a train of clothes because I'm not going to take the train in my cute little dress. Um, so I'm already going to be carrying clothes and I don't want to be carrying all this stuff. So I might just vlog on my phone, but I don't really know. I'm irritated because I literally got this camera a week before my trip just so I can bring it on my trip. And now it's looking like I won't be able to capture any of the moments for my trip on this camera, which is so frustrating. So now I'm debating, should I go back and buy my DSLR? I mean, bring my DSLR camera on the trip just in case this one start acting funny. Like I'll let it out. I don't know, y'all. Um, but good thing is I did the one positive thing I ordered. Um, I ordered an external like a power bank from Amazon earlier today. And ironically, I wasn't going to buy it. But something just told me buy it, try it out, just see. Because you don't want to go on a trip and the camera is always dying. So thankfully, I did buy an external, like a power bank. You can use it to charge your phone. Or in this case, I can use it to charge the camera since you can charge the camera while the camera's on. But now it's like, okay, so I'm going to have to walk around carrying my vlog camera. And then also carrying the power bank. Because it's just, uh, I'm irritated. I don't know. And then it's like now I only have one, I only have one battery. So I guess if I, hmm, I guess I'll, whew, I'm like, I guess I have to buy another battery. But at this point, I'm just ready to return this camera because it's getting on my nerves. Okay. It has like a lot of, it has like a lot of neat little things that's really cool about it. But they're missing the simplest things that make it so frustrating to like this camera. Like the fact that y'all don't sell, like Sony does not sell anything to like um, charge this battery in the wall. It's stupid to me. Like the only way you can charge the vlogging camera is by plugging the vlogging camera into the wall. Then that would be cool for a sit down video because you would have access to an outlet. But when you're vlogging, that makes no damn sense. So I'm like, ugh. So, I don't know. I'm like, part of me is like, go buy another Sony battery tomorrow. Another part of me is like, return this whole damn camera. Because I'm over it. <laughs> I'm sick. Um, the good thing is, I can go ahead and return this to Amazon. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, more money I have to spend. I'm, I'm sick of it. I didn't even leave yet. <laughs> Jeez. Hey y'all, good morning. I'm up bright and early and I'm about to go get my makeup done. This is the same girl who did my makeup for my 21st birthday and her work is marvelous. I'm actually running a little late and I have on the same outfit that I'm going to wear to the airport because I didn't know what to wear so I just threw this on. But um, I'm about to go get my makeup done. I need to hurry up because y'all know these makeup artists be trying to charge $100 for every minute you late. So I need to get out of here now. I will catch up with you all later. Hey y'all, so I'm just leaving from getting my makeup done. Here's how it looks. Honestly, I'm not crazy about it, but I'm not trying to dwell on it. Uh, usually, the last time I got my makeup done for her, I did like a cute little shimmer look. But since the dress is kind of plain, I decided to go for a more like glitter look. I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't know if she was a little bit flustered today because she came in late and she was rushing or what happened, but... I don't know, it's not giving what it was supposed to give, okay? But I'm gonna make the best out of it. Hopefully it looks nice in pictures. I'm low-key kind of a perfectionist when it comes to stuff like this, so hopefully it doesn't, like, annoy me. Like, and I'll look at the photos and be like, I hate it! But yeah, y'all. <sighs> Here's the look. Hey, y'all. Here is the final look, okay? Here is my makeup, and here is my gorgeous dress. I absolutely love this dress, y'all. I'm gonna pair it with those gold heels I have, but I'm not gonna put them on right now. I'm just gonna put on some white sneakers because I'm gonna take an Uber to the park and you can't drive into Central Park, so I'm gonna have to walk a little bit of a ways. So I'm just gonna put on some white tennis sneakers, and here is the dress, y'all. It's just so good. Y'all see this? What ways, first of all? I was gonna say, do y'all see the waist? But there's no waist, okay? So here is my makeup. Mm. I'm just not crazy about the eyelids. I just feel like it's doing a little bit too much. Like this would have been cool if I was doing like a birthday dinner before like a graduation shoot. 
I'm not crazy about it, honestly, but there's nothing I could do about it. So I'm just going to go ahead and rock with it. I love my dress, so I'm grateful for that. And the weather is beautiful today. Well, I'm thankful for that because it could have rained. So I'm grateful for that. I'm just going to go ahead and make the best out of my day. And hopefully the photos come out good and my makeup looks way better in the photos than it does on here because I'm just not crazy about it some of you may like it but it's just not for me y'all and I don't mean to come on here and be like a big baby but I mean it's a vlog and this is how I feel <laughs> and ladies you know if you ever left the hair salon with your hair not being the way you wanted it to be or your makeup not being the way you want it to be you know how frustrating and irritating that is so it's just life y'all but I'm gonna go ahead and make the best of my day I have on this I love this dress y'all I just love this dress I have my gorgeous dress and I'm gonna go ahead and take my graduation photos and have an amazing day and I'll catch up with y'all later hey y'all so I made it to Central Park um now I'm walking to go meet my photographer I'm gonna be shooting by the fountain so I'm walking over there now y'all it is quite cold outside okay um I think it's like it feels like 75 degrees and pretty much everything is out so i'm a little bit cold but thankfully i bought clothes to change into so yeah i don't have to worry about that but um it is quite cold out here but i'm here and i made it kind of on time so he was kind of late too and i'm kind of late so now we both like kind of on time so it works out for me okay y'all so i was very much lost and i also had to pee so bad but i found a bathroom and i'm finally here Look at God. Now that I'm outside, I feel like the makeup doesn't look as bad. Because y'all know I was literally throwing a temper tantrum <laughs> earlier, but now that I'm outside, it's kind of cute. Uh, okay, I'm happy again. Hey y'all, so I'm just leaving my graduation shoot. It went really, 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 really well. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the um, the contact for the photographers in the description box down below so y'all can check them out. Y'all, y'all wouldn't, I was literally in the bathroom for 30 minutes trying to take off this dress, the struggle. And it was a public park bathroom. I'm gonna go wash up with bleach, okay? Cause what the hell? <laughs> my mom was having a hard time zipping me up into the dress and I can see what was the problem because when I tried to take it off I could barely take it off and it wasn't just because like it was in the back like the zipper was in the back because I turned the dress to the front and tried to zip it down as well there was like the zipper started to separate a little bit and I just had to go ahead and like open the whole zipper and like shift my body out of it I tried to just pop the zipper out of like the zipper head if you know what I'm saying but y'all it was not coming out house of cb when they say quality they mean quality okay but i guess the quality wasn't that good if the damn zipper broke and this is only my first time wearing a dress i mean i tried it on once before then but so anywho the zipper on the dress is broke now so i'm gonna have to go ahead and get it repaired and i'm also gonna have to go ahead and get it clean because i have makeup all over it which is why i don't like wearing makeup because makeup just gets on everything i don't know how you people wear makeup but hey All right, y'all, I'm trying to find a train. I'm usually really good at this. Like, I'm from New York, I do this, okay? But I do not know where the train is over here. And I put it in my Google Maps, and it's telling me it's where I am. And I'm like, sis, I do not see a train. Also, I do not have on my glasses, so I can't see. So I literally have to walk to the corner to see the damn corner. J. Louise. <laughs> walking my way downtown, walking fast. Jason Pavin and homebound. Do, 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 do. I'm starting to really like this vlogging thing. It's kind of a vibe. I need to warm up to it. I'm still a little shy, but um, I like it. Okay, I might be a full time vlogger here. Okay, it's fun. But anywho, 
I had an amazing photo shoot. I'm happy everything went perfectly. I know this morning I was a little bit bummed about how my makeup came out, but everything happens for a reason and the photos came out phenomenal. I think the makeup is a little extra for every day, um, but in the photos, y'all, the photos, I was shutting shit down. <laughs> I shut it down, do you hear me? <laughs> um, I cannot wait to post these on a gram. I'm also gonna go ahead and probably print one or two out and hang it up in my room the same way I did the photos for my 21st birthday and my friend actually took those photos for me and those came out bomb so imagine these on the wall the girls are in trouble hey y'all so I took that makeup off my face I ate and now I am putting the finishing touches on my luggage at least I'm trying to y'all I'm exhausted I'm not even thinking clearly I don't know what I need what I don't need I packed yesterday but I felt like I wanted to add some things but I don't really remember what those things were so at this point if God don't do it, it won't get done. Say with me, say with me, people. If God don't do it, it won't get done. It just won't get done, okay? If it's not in there, it wasn't meant for me to bring because I'm tired. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing right now. But one thing I am gonna do is weigh this luggage. I Googled what would be like, how would you weigh luggage on like a scale for like humans? And they were like, weigh yourself and then hold the luggage and weigh yourself holding the luggage and subtract it and I was like wow why did I not think of this like that's such an elementary school math problem so I'm about to go ahead and do that now if the luggage is too heavy I guess I'm gonna take some things out but I kind of wanted to add some things in so I might just leave it and I might just have to check it or maybe they let me get away with it because I'm flying Delta and Delta sits like they um they took out the middle seat well they didn't take it out but they don't allow people to sit in the middle seat currently so I'm like if that's the case I think I'm owed at least 100 pounds on my carry-on but you know I'm not trying to make the plane crash y'all so I'm gonna follow the rules but I'm gonna go ahead and weigh this luggage and let y'all know how this technique works out for me all right y'all so we got the luggage well let me weigh me child I might have to cover this up y'all because I have been eating like I never ate before okay 182 let's do it again because you know that's saying I'm a little heavy <laughs> I don't know, it was in the 170s. Okay, 182. That makes sense. Okay, now I'm going to hold the luggage and do it, but I can't show you guys that because I'm holding a camera. So I'll be back. All right, y'all. So here is the weight when I'm carrying the luggage. So that is definitely not 50 pounds over. So we are good to go. Woo, woo. I guess it was accurate because remember yesterday I put this on the scale and I just laid it down and it said it was about 22 pounds, I believe. And this is like 22 pounds right now. So I guess it was accurate. Woo, woo. But that is it, you all. I have to meet my sister at her house at about 5.15. And we're going to go ahead and drive from the airport from her house. So I need to be up super early. Honestly, I usually don't go to sleep to around 4 5 o'clock, which is crazy, I know. Um, so the fact that I'm going to be waking up at 4 or 5 o'clock is different. You know, it's a little different. But hey, it is what it is. I'm super excited to go away. Mm, 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 mm. Top of the morning. Good morning, y'all. It is officially, it's officially the day of my trip. I'm about to go ahead and head to my sister's house. I'll go ahead and put on my hat so I don't forget. Y'all, I thought I was gonna be like, I thought it was gonna be hard for me to wake up this morning. And ironically, I woke up a little bit earlier than I was supposed to. I think it's because I literally still have anxiety over that whole photo shoot and my makeup being terrible. So I was having a hard time sleeping to be honest. Um but I'm grateful. I'm up. I'm alive. I'm going away. All right? I'm going away. And we're going to have a good time, y'all. So stay tuned. So here is the fit you all it is the same sweatsuit that I wore yesterday but of course I washed it and I have on like a white um, tank top under that's why it has these little strings hanging. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna throw this on with my white sneakers and I am gonna head out. <laughs> Alright y'all. Hey y'all I finally made it to my sister house. She's actually coming now. Oh. Good morning beautiful. Hey. Hi. Hey y'all, we have officially made it to the airport. So if you want to see my sisters and I trip, be sure to tune into the next vlog if y'all want to see where we're going. And I will see you all later. Bye y'all.